Hey, this is Dag. We'll fix it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically strip down two LG G Watch R's. This is one of the first. Well, this is the first pure round circular dial watch that you can get. Um, that came out, I think, in 14, in 2014 or something like that. And you can have a look. It's basically, I mean, there was the Motorola 360, but that had a flat tire design, so it had a little, little dot like a little little uh, flat tire they call it the flat tire it looks like a flat tire so there was like a little flat bezel at the bottom where some of the internals of the watch were stored um but this is the fully the first fully round watch display and um we've got two watches here so they've got different issues one has a bad screen so this one the PLED screen is completely fried and um what we're going to do is we're going to I'm, I'm assured that the internals are solid so what we're going to do is do a little transplant on this one the internals are fried and plus the connector the charging block connector or this little thing here um, you need to apply a lot of pressure between this to actually get this to charge so you have to stick like a brick I was using a 10 kg dumbbell weight <laughs> to charge this bad boy up so what we're going to do is we're going to strip this one down first you can see I've already removed the screws but if I have the red screwdriver thank you very much to my little helper dog's little helper we got one of these little screwdrivers you can see what it says it says T T5 times 25 or something times 60 and it's basically a mini star screwdriver if you can just get the zoom in here we go Oof, camera zooming in sick um, and a lot of a lot of phones and watches and you know well these kind of watches have these kind of screws so um it's pretty straightforward to open it with that so what we're going to do is this one i've already removed the screws but um if you just it, it the rest of it's just clipped in if you just basically get your finger in it just unclip it now you can see the internals the first thing i'm going to talk about is this this is the casing you can buy these casing casings offline and stuff and um you can see that the contact you can see the contact one of the contacts the first contact looks different and that's because someone bodged it to make it work something went wrong with one of the contacts i'm not sure but uh, they've soldered something on there to try and get it to make contact with the base on the motherboard so i'm going to show you that guys now so this is just a backing case and the other thing you need to be really wary of is the fact that there's a rubber gasket or a rubber seal going around the outside now when you open this up you need to make sure that that stays intact or if it does come out you can you know push it back in but don't snap it whatever you do because that's what gives it its ip67 um, rating of well you know so basic waterproofness splash proof and maybe one to couple of seconds submersion um, but without that your watch would die if you get some water and if it goes in the side it's a dead as a duck so here we go so we've got our motherboard now the motherboard is fried and if you look if you look at the charging t t t terminals which the back casing connects to this one as seems to have collapsed somehow um, so the guys tried to add a bit of length I'd use a bit of solder to make the contact a bit longer so it can touch this but it's still not working so what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is remove this board the motherboard which is basically dead um, so we can just use our finger or you can use a screw if you want um, remember you need to be careful of static shocks and so just uh, static charge you don't want to blow up things uh, or, or fry anything else so make sure you've touched a few metal things or whatever so we're just going to peel off the contacts like that there we go so there's four one two three four and um, we've got three screws although one's missing i can see that so silver screwdriver please thank you very much um so we're going to just use a standard phillips mini phillips uh, remove this screw here there we go hopefully we don't lose it oh yeah i dropped it somewhere it's all right no big deal it's probably on the floor but i'm not going to worry about it i've got a few spares lying around okay okay so now you can see the motherboard comes straight out um, and on the back if you look behind it you can see the processor and you can actually see the um, this little spinny thing is the actual vibration unit so you know when the watch vibrates it's basically because this bad boy is spinning um, so that's the motherboard for the LG G watch R uh, so if we put that to the side like this let's have a quick look at this we have the battery so this is the battery it actually just comes straight out but it's glued or stuck to the to the base so you can just pry it out and if you find that your watch is not charging for more than 
uh, two days or you know, for more than a day or, or over or, or, or over a day then your battery's probably going you probably got a lot of use out of it so you can buy them for about 10 or 15 quid on ebay and stuff um, and then on the left you can see um the button the buttons or the button uh, sensor or whatever it is and that's also attached to this um charging panel okay so what we're going to do is now we've got this bad boy open um either we strip this out or and take the battery out but what we can do is actually the battery is probably okay on this uh, but this bad boy needs to come out now this thing is actually glued it's glued down to this and then you can you should be able to just um once you get the whole lot out you can there you go there's a the whole lot so remember this screen is intact and working absolutely fine so we're not going to mess with this screen but you can see i've just pulled it away from i pulled the internals away completely from the the base of the watch or the casing of the watch so you can see the screen's solid um the other one the other one is is a is a bit mashed so what we're going to do let's put this set aside okay we don't want to get anything mixed up so we've got this this is the dodgy motherboard we've got that and now what we're going to do is we're going to strip down the second watch so we'll put all those things to the side so you guys can see they're there um and we've got this watch now the internals on this watch are supposed to be good but the screen is shot um so what we're going to do is we're going to open up with the red screwdriver or the t the t5 or whatever you want to call it uh, we just unscrew these So there's four screws, one in each corner. Straightforward, nothing complicated. Yeah, that's actually on the thing. There you go. One. With this screwdriver, I mean, the things open up really easy. Two. Oh, okay. Three. And four. And then we're just going to pry it open. It's got some clips on the inside, so you can just pry it out. Hopefully. Okay, that's four. Okay, let's put them to the side here so you guys can see that. So, we're going to pry it. Now, you can see it's just slightly ajar. So, we're just going to push it back. You can use a, a flat screwdriver to get it open. So, you can see straight away the back panel. Everything looks good on it right the contacts look wicked so we're going to keep that we're going to keep that as part of our new back motherboard everything is there the spacer contacts are good as well but remember the screen on this is fried um, and I, you can see that i'm already missing a contact for the screen so this cotton so that uh, this plug-in little uh jack or whatever you want to call it is missing so the screen has been shot to pieces so the watch is useless without that right so what we're going to do let's unplug all the connectors there we go one two three uh, we're obviously missing the fourth one <clears throat> so we got that out so let's see if we can actually remove this straight from the base so if you wanted to just change the motherboard you could like i've shown you there's three screws one two three you just unscrew them just like i showed you in the, with the other watch if you want to change the battery you get the motherboard out you pry the battery off the back because it's glued in sort the battery over it's actually really really straightforward and remember the gasket don't mess with the gasket seal if it comes off if it comes off when you're opening up the case make sure you put it back when you close it okay so what we're going to now do is see if we can um see if this bad boy wants to come out okay he probably doesn't so let's remove the screws because it might be all relative so we're going to take these screws out don't want to lose them one remember there's three screws on this two all right we're getting there we're getting there people three okay so now this thing i hope so the motherboard's ready to come out now remember this is a good one so we don't want to mess with this too much so we put this right here well, where you can see it there um and I'm hoping if we just do this, it will just come out. There you go. It's just stuck. So it's come out. You can see the screen. Oh, look, there's a bits of the screen still flying around. So that's actually in the wrong place. <laughs> so we want this. We want this. And we want the new board. So what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to get the old one back. So remember, this internals are fried. 
So we're going to remove this jazz, put that to the side. We got this now from the new watch. We're going to replace it completely. Now, if you were just swapping the motherboards, it'd be easy. You just do what I did, unplug the motherboard. I'll leave this battery in. I hope the battery is decent. Uh, but now, by doing the complete transplant, I've got a new contact on the left. So, charging should work a lot better, I hope. Fingers crossed. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to position this motherboard back into place um, on the connectors and make sure that everything is in place. Then we're going to screw it back screw the board back to the thing hopefully I've not missed anything I'm sure if I have you'll be hitting me up on the YouTube uh, chats is this magnetic here you go bring it dog bring it so one remember there's three for the board hopefully once this is done I'll try and charge the watch so you can see it run our uh, fingers crossed it works otherwise this video has been a waste of time but let's hope not fiddly so let's put this on the all right okay Tighten this up. Okay, so now we reconnect all the plugs, position it back, everything's there. Just make sure the connectors are sitting cleanly on there. There's no, they just clip in, you'll feel them clip. Make sure the watch is in place because it's slightly out. Okay. Right, so I think we're not far off. So where is the back for this bad boy? So let's get the good back. So we've got the good back. So we're just gonna, have I missed anything? I don't think so. Let me know if I have. Just gonna push this back on. You just need to kind of twist like that and it's good. Right, now does it charge? I don't know. Actually, let's see if it powers on first. We'll hit the power button there. Come on, bad boy, you can do it. You can do it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So what we'll do is we'll stick it on the charging dock. Let's see. So there you go. Oof, dog, you beast. So let's bring it up. So you can see straight away, the screen's obviously good because the screen was mashed on the other one. Um, it's, I'm sitting it in the charging dock while I do this. Um, and you can see it's firing up. <laughs> there you go, people. So let's just wait for it to go into um, fully startup mode. But that was it. And, and the thing is, the way that LG have designed this watch is actually really, really easy to do. Now, there's the LG uh, Bane, which is, has very, very similar antennas. You can even use a motherboard for an LG Urbane in the G-Watch and I have done that by the way so look 52% the charge is live so actually it doesn't even it says 52% so there you go people look we're live and kicking we're dang we'll fix it so we're back so the watch is the watch has been brought back to life with a little bit of a transplant so we transplanted the motherboard. Actually, we transplanted the whole lot in the end because the on one side the screen was damaged, on the other side the motherboard and that was damaged. Um, so um, there you go, people. Please like this video. Please post it. Please share it. Please subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to check out Dad Time for your gaming jazz and Wagwan apps for your um, other stuff. Anyway, thanks a lot, people. Thanks for watching. There you go. Peace out. And oh, don't forget, put the screws on the back. I got a bit excited, but don't forget to put the screws in the back. Yeah, <laughs> easy. I'm not going to run you through that. You know what to do. There you go. All right. Thanks a lot.